In the forests of western Ukraine, National Guardsmen are receiving training from soldiers of the United States 173rd Airborne Brigade. The training is aimed at countering the Russian-backed separatists in eastern Ukraine. That simmering conflict forms the backdrop to the European Union's Eastern Partnership Summit. Leaders from Ukraine, Georgia, Belarus, Moldova, Armenia and Azerbaijan will join their EU counterparts in Riga. The two-day meeting is aimed at building relations with the former Soviet bloc states, says analyst Arisia Lutsevich. We are facing now a new understanding of Europe and its neighbourhood and what it means. I think the European Union managed to have a very united position on saying that the countries have a right to decide their future. The last Eastern Partnership Summit in November 2013 saw Ukraine's then-President Viktor Yanukovych make a last-minute U-turn on signing a deal with the EU under pressure from Russia. His action led pro-EU protesters to take to the streets, eventually forcing his ouster. Russia's annexation of Crimea soon followed. Moscow's actions have driven the former Soviet states closer to Brussels, says Kadri Leek of the European Council on Foreign Relations. All countries are trying to reach out to the EU more than earlier, uh, including the so-called laggards, the ones who uh, clearly used the European connection in order to balance Russia's influence, especially that includes Azerbaijan and, and Belarus. They are now scared about what Russia might do. Along with Ukraine and Moldova, Georgia has signed an association agreement with the EU. President Georgi Mark Velashvili says Europe must not be cowed by Russian demands. The paradigm that Russia legitimately somehow considers that furthering Georgia's European choice is their national threat and some, somehow Europeans have to take this into consideration, this is an absurd, an absurd that has to be confronted with a positive European uh, agenda. But despite a series of high-level meetings between the EU and its eastern neighbours, that agenda remains unclear and full membership of the EU is not on the table, says Kadri League. You can get access to the market, you can get visa-free travel, but will you be able to become a member of the European Union? That has always been unanswered. While reaching out to the former Soviet states, Europe is also trying to ease tensions with Russia. At the same time, Europe has to decide how it wants to build its relations with Russia, whether it's containment, whether it's uh, confrontation, whether it's partnership. Ukraine's president has already said he wants to apply for EU membership by 2020. Analysts say that ambition may not be met by Brussels. Henry Ridgewell for VOA News, London.